Hello everyone, this is a gray shot 117 here bringing you a company for us to cast made by a fan one Which I will tell you at the very very end, but It's actually kind of interesting because not even withstanding about the person who submitted this because actually has no regard For that or maybe it does the fact that yesterday the whole uh, 4v4 carnage tournament and not a single Brit showed up in it And then there's two in here. I don't know. I kind of like that. But in any case with us today, we got Voice Stealer, Fair uh, Day, so bad to two mixed, mixed bag right there. Messiah Ham Hamjara and uh, quit. Oh God, Vistin, Kvistin. Okay, so it's about even, although I think the allies have a little bit more play time. But we'll see how things go. In any case, we got an OKW, a Vermok. We also have a uh, actually two British players. One of which went with special weapons. Regiment, so we'll see how that plays in this map. You, again, good AT abilities and support. Wow, good push for this building. Actually going to manage to take over it. And hopefully put enough pressure to keep the Sturms back. Now, they could go for cover. I also love how the Sturms blocked their way to get close to this guy, but I digress. Um, he's going to get in cover, but it's, remember, it's directional. So, he's going to still do quite a bit of damage against these guys. Uh, Volk Squad moved on in. Now, they have to wait for the... Uh, <clears throat> the uh, half track before you can deploy a fire grenade, but the British infantry if their main goal is to delay is doing a great job Additional British forces coming on over. He got three British infantry Meanwhile, we got Messiah going to Brit squads plus an MG coming up the rear Meanwhile the ax uh, axes are trying to also grab some territory and put down barbed wire again This is like the new thing for people pulling down barbed wire at the edge like guys. Isn't this awesome? We can stop them. Well, yeah until they get vehicles but an early game, not a bad way to keep the enemy back. Good job, managed to put enough pressure to push the Volk squads back. No fire, so most like, likely it was just done by sheer firepower. British infantry once again getting in cover, just trying to hold down the line. And not a bad idea, honestly. Because we kind of go over here and you can kind of see. Um, again, they're all firing this way, all in basic medium cover to long range. Should be fine. Now there's MG42 going over here. Which also makes it so that we voice stealers doubling up. He also wants assault support. So nice good supportive abilities like the supply truck for himself to get a ton of munitions to then call in a ton of airstrikes. So we'll see how that goes. By the way, Dan and Courage, thank you both for uh, joining. Hopefully you all are having a good de day today. Uh, British Infantry once again coming up by using its heavy cover. He's moving on in. He doesn't have grenades. So I'm unsure if that was a misclick or what happened there. Additional Brit Infantry coming on in. But we do have a double team going on. A lot of pioneers, a lot of MGs. Although some of the MGs are negative cover, so it, ahem, a flanking opportunity would be good. Any case, unfortunately, the British infantry had to fall back. They're taking a lot of damage from all that firepower, and most likely this guy is going to hopefully redeploy to stop t the other side from coming on in because it is a bit weird. Hello, Angel. Hello, Thomas. Hopefully, you're both doing very well. Anyway, it is very weird that both these infantry squads. Um, uh, how, how do I put this? Like, this voice stealer guy, <clears throat> pretty <clears throat> pretty much his side was uncontested. Like, there's everything over here is pretty much open game. So you're just kind of curious as to why, like, maybe a further flank they'd come in a little sooner. But it maybe Masai is just being cautious, which I get. It. Against a Vermont player, you definitely want to be. Um, is that Teller Mine or, or an S Minefield? Go oh, it's an S Minefield going to effect. All right, so he's really making sure the ax or sorry the allies take a lot of damage if they go in for that point. Hello, Joey, once again, and I don't want to play some. Cow. <laughs> I will be doing that right after this. Anyway, infantry push, but they're all grouped up, so expect a chain suppression. One, two, three, and uh, judging by its range, they can no longer be seen. But with the Volk Squad moving on in, they can now use the extent of its range and will continue the chain effect for an unseen amount of time. Unfortunately, British infantry could have done better in that push, but again, they're also pushing into territory they cannot see. But always kind of separate units into a larger area, so that way it's harder for them to pin down. Large amount of British infantry section coming on in. Now, I wonder if he's getting so many to reinforce them with the half track. I'm kind of curious on that. MG going down might cause suppression. There is another one over here if they move on further. But there's a lot of guys, all and not all of them get behind that cover, so I can see a chain reaction go off and kind of start connecting all of them. Like so, especially with the second MG. Bit of a blob right there, and they're going to pay for it. He's going to force all of his forces 
to fall back. Meanwhile, the Germans have st still a decent amount of men over here, plus additional MGs. Uh, this one's MG34, but still additional MGs being made, most likely to lock down this territory. Although a good flank this way could be up uh, on the table, because again, you could get outside that MG's range, and you could use its long range uh, capabilities to try to push this infantry back and then kind of flank it. Maybe call an artillery. Pioneer squad coming in, I get, really trying to push up. Gren oh no, artillery coming in, that's a... Uh, I would have rather used grenades, honestly. I think grenades would have been a better use because they're going to retreat anyway. And I don't think you need artillery just called in to just force them back. Besides, it's time that you can no longer take the territory uh, because there's artillery currently raining down. I mean, you could take it, but your British infantry is probably going to ex explode. So, you know, you have to watch out for that. Resource-wise, it's a it's about even though the allies are doing a bit better, and that's actually because of their double team here with caches. Good job there. They're focusing on the long-term gameplay, and they want to get out armor sooner. Now, good. I mean, I also give it this, even though the British infantry squads kind of fail in their attack here. I fully expect the Germans to kind of capture territory, but they've been very slow in that regard. Although, I think they're just being very cautious and moving up and placing barbed wire. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but you definitely want to make sure that you take you take territory as much as you possibly can. So, there is that. Because, again, uh, like, if you push, if you see, like, a huge blob back, you could probably take one or two points without them really being contentious. Besides, if you push, let's say, here, you can actually decap the entirety of the left side, which would really put Masa at in harm's way because he can no longer build fortifications or anything like that. Now, he did upgrade to five-man squads. Uh, th unfortunately, Vistian did not. But he did, and he got grenades as well. Did he get the upgrade? No, he still does not have research weapons. So that is a key issue in that regard because, again, uh, this infantry is best with Brens and Piots. Fortunately, that's not the case. Although, goddamn, both sides love building their additional defenses. I do like that positioning, though. I really do. It's like extending the trench just in a like a better way to overview and an MG right there could be very very powerful. I'm very curious about this Panzer Grenadier squad what its main goal is. Maybe it's just I I I don't know like just there to just get sight for the MG. But this guy very smartly knows where the MG is and going all the way around. Uh if they get close one gr good grenade would, wouldn't probably kill it, they're too spread out, but would do a serious damage to it. Meanwhile, a big push is going into play by Stern Pioneers and Volk Squads, killing the caches. Uh, this guy is finally coming back in. He did upgrade his men with Bren, so these will be incredibly powerful. And also, we have AT, if, uh, British Infantry Section as well, with a Universal Carrier with the Flamethrower. So, he's coming back full force. This cache will probably bite it. And, yeah, he won't disconnect any territory with it. Meanwhile, over here, he's going to, uh, unfortunately take some damage, most likely from the flamethrower and the mortar, but he did manage to kill the MG, which is always a nice steal from a Vermok player. Even as the British, the MG-42 is very, very good, and yeah, taking it may not be a bad idea. At the very least, you want to destroy it. Anyway, Pan's Grandiers, gonna try to give chase, oh, and the, the, the minefield did some work, sorry. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, they're still gonna escape. Now, good job here by the Germans. They managed to kill both caches. That's 500 manpower down the drain. Unfortunately, uh, Red decided to push on the one side. You know, Sakari is waiting to push. MG not redeploying as quick as it could be. Remember, you sometimes you have to manually deploy it to the right where the infantry is coming from in order to actually have an effect. Now, I think he might be busy microwing this unit. Let's double check. Yep, he's busy over here. He has no idea what's going on on the left. At least I don't, I think that's him. Oh, okay, Just he just popped over. He's like, oh, my building's on fire. This is bad. Yeah, he's getting out. He used to carry quickly putting it into that MG. Sport gun has been knocked out. Medical is now under fire. There is a Verkan for over here, but they can't deal with all the infantry. So he's going to have to do something in regards to getting additional forces to move on in. And Volk squads and Serbs are coming on back. Now, the, the left side is decapped, so that will hurt the British quite a bit. But in the meantime, the Germans are going to be reeling because if they lose that medical, that's going to be a bit of an F on their part. But flanking maneuver coming on in. Uh, also, we do have some mines, some German mines coming in. Nice shot with the Panzer Shrek. Unfortunately, you're being flamed again. Also, a, I believe a good Panzerfaust. No, I'm sorry. It was a Verkenmer for shot. Really nice. Anyway, mine getting him on the way out, which helped kill the squad. God damn. And, uh... 
Luckily, they didn't have a second one on the way out. Additional British Infantry still trying to be in this fight. But against two Volk squads, unless they keep at range, this squad will probably be overwhelmed. And it is. False Schmigger's on the field, which means one thing. We have Luftwaffe Ground Forces Doctrine. Very good for light defenses, plus some very, very good infantry. So overall, good job with getting all that. Now, he has a good amount of AT and armor. Building-wise, he is building a Schweer Headquarters. Now... Positioning wise, let's see. It's guarding this point and it really is not too far up, but it doesn't need to be. I, I I mean, to be fair, I would rather place it over here. You can use the boxcars, like the bottom of it, as cover. So they take a lot of damage, but overall, not a bad idea to for at least keep it back so that way the enemy doesn't kill it. Um, just in case you're worried about artillery or whatnot, or just be trying to be safe. You don't always have to move it onto the front. It's just maybe a little better for defense, but if you can't protect it, then there's no point. Anyway, British Infantry squads have been upgraded with five-man squads, finally. So, uh, yeah, Brit Force uh, not working out as much as they probably want it to. Uh, meanwhile, again, additional caches. Also, I love the defenses he's making around it, so that way it will take damage rather than the uh, poor cache that will get blown up. Let's see, Masai has gone two infantry squads, both upgrade Brens. Royal Engineer squad trying to grab the munitions back. We also have the double MG, with one of them being the MG42 from earlier. <clears throat> Not bad positioning, kind of covering this entire area to try to grab both munitions and hopefully the center star, which would be very good. Mortars over here with an MG defense, stopping them from crossing that open way. But the one thing I'll say about that is they can still go all the way around. It's a little bit of a hassle, but you still could do that. So... As a heads up, you can't always choke point a map. The enemy will always find a way. British infantry squads in the meantime, will, actually both of them, Messiah and Vish, Kvishin, are pushing on in. Luckily, Minesweepers are helping detect all the German mines everywhere, so that's good. False Schmigger, so hitting him long range. We have a support gun opening fire on them as well. Big old blob will be a fantastic hit if the mortar fire and team can hit in. We have artillery flare going into effect. British infantry going up on the hill, trying to flank the team. Support gun coming on in. Minesweeper still in place, so that any German mine will be detected as, as long as they stay close to it. But MG34 suppressing their advance, having a hard time uh, trying to push on in. British infantry retreating, at least the majority of it. Some squads are trying to move around, although with the Falschmager squad there, I don't think it's going to work out all that well. Because even if he tries to get around, this squad's been upgraded with the uh, with those um, upgrades. The Falschmager's Primo weapon. So if it gets in heavy cover and just lights that sucker up, yeah, it's going to stay no chance. Hell, even if they get around it, they could flank it and possibly kill it on the retreat. That would be a definite issue. Oh my god. Sir Run, Sturms. Nope, Falschmager's got your back. <laughs> They'll protect you. Meanwhile, what's your armor capabilities looking like? All right, K-Vision is at tier 3, but he isn't upgraded to tier 4 yet. We'll see if that comes into play. We got tier 3 for uh, Messiah, but also no upgrades. We do have a retreat base, so he does have this back here to retreat too. Recon's now going into effect again. I'm assuming it was recon because they don't see any MGs that would possibly be suppressed. There's MG here that might have been better to suppress, but judging by the smoke, I'm assuming he's just trying to give an idea of where the enemy is. Oh, hello! Messiah did deploy a crumble. Nice. Also, we have a Panzer IV in development, two uh, supply trucks down, getting a ton of resources so the Germans are doing quite well for themselves. At least one of them is. I did a squad trying to kill the cache again. Man, they can't keep these caches alive. Although, maybe they'll be able to knock this sucker out. Oh, nice shot. Oh, my God. Okay, he wasn't paying attention. Or if he was, maybe he was and he was just trying to focus on the, um, trying to kill the cash. And was like, yeah, I'll, I'll lose the unit. Although, that's not great. Oh, boy. Falling back. I love that. I, uh, okay. The AT rifles they have, think of a sniper, but they, literally these guys will pop blood, but they won't die. I just imagine them losing an arm and still be like, guys, I'm still good for battle. I'm still great. Anyway, opening fire on the mortar, pushing them back. 
Again, Cromwell just keeping the, the, the line uh, steady on this side from a possible German push over and taking over the entire area. Pulling on back. I don't see any Teller Mines, although he's making one now. Uh, maybe a bit late. Maybe a bit late. Uh, Panzer IV is on the field pushing on in. We'll probably try to go help. Uh, we also have a Panther on the field with a fighting position being made. Once again, I feel like it's a little farther back. Um... I don't know how far I would want it up. Maybe at least behind this cover. But putting it behind the fence is not a bad idea. The fence will at least take some hits. So, and also if you're trying to just guard this point and just general the fuel. And also stop a flank on the right. It's not a bad spot. So, Faraday is actually doing quite well in defenses. Now, Cromwell versus Panzer IV. Looks like Cromwell is actually having the lead in this. But, yep. Tellermine goes into play. Stops his attack. Now, Panzer IV needs one more shot on that Cromwell to kill it. He drops smoke just in case and has gone back on it up. Not bad. Not not, not too shabby. Could have been a lot worse. At least the Cromwell made it out. That That's the positive. Again, I would rather have someone not, like, have, like, fall back than have someone lose all their armor. That, that That's just, yeah. Again, even if you don't win the battle, if you still have your armor, you're still doing fine. You can still come back and win that battle. So there's that. Panther moving on in. Once it, oh my god, they're killing those caches again. I mean, to be fair, a lot of these caches keep being rebuilt. Fire Day's like enough with these caches already. Jesus. Also, kind of give it up to the, the Germans realizing, hey, the Brits have nothing defending their middle area. Let's just keep po like poking and prodding. And if they keep killing caches, that's 250 in manpower per pop. So what they've killed what? Three, four caches at this point? So, yeah, if they can kill a few more, wouldn't it be too bad. Both squad coming in to help assist in killing some. We have a small German push over here, which is a bit weird. Oh my god, get up and throw a bundle grenade! Up, oh, Panzer IV as well, moving on in. Missing the shot, but scares the hell out of that MG. Uh, appreciate tree coming in to save the Cromwell. And save the dream! Oh, the Panzer trucks get some nice shot on target. Panzer IV coming on in, no AT to speak of. Oh, never mind. We're engineers. Forgot about it. Oh, never mind. They. Why are you falling back? That crawl won't... Oh, never mind. I forgot about the forward base. Excuse me. That was actually not a bad idea. It's like, oh, okay. Let me just fall back, heal, and then move back up. Maybe his idea was also alert to Panzer IV. Oh, Panzer IV is not falling for it, though. Meanwhile, once again, trying to cut off the territory. Uh, still needs one more piece to fully cut it off, but still. Panther uh, having some issue with this bridge of tree. Once again, coming along this side, which is also why the fight position might have been, not fight position, the forward, uh, the flak emplacement might have been better, a little bit higher up, to just stop all this bullshit. Also, run that Panther into these uh, buildings, and not not that bridge of tree section, that is AT. But run into the building, because you'll literally destroy it. Oh my god, mine got him on the way out. That sucks. Bridge of infantry trying its best to hold out. Having some issues though, having some problems. Again, moving behind cover, support gun opening fire, and yeah, no AT to speak of, except for a Churchill that just got deployed and is slowly making its way to the front. Meanwhile, once again, uh, Faraday cuts off Messiah, so Messiah's gonna have some issues if he's gonna try to build up anything. Missing the MG, but hang the building. MG's gonna have some issues right there, gonna be torn apart. Cromwell's almost up and running. Man, that thing is taking longer than Mothra to appear in a movie. Jesus, come on, get your act together. Panzer IV continues his advance. Still, his engine's crippled. Just a few more seconds. Anyway, trying to put some shots on target. Again, they don't have a ton of long-range AT. Sure, the tank and the Royal Engineers are an issue. But if you have your own infantry, that would definitely help out. Unfortunately, a lot of it's Panzer Grenadiers. Oh my god, walking from Panzer IV may not be the best idea there, son. Um, yeah, you need something to fight this British infantry, and I think you would have been able to push against this guy and probably take it. Um, he doesn't have enough for an airstrike, so that's unfortunate, or the command points for it. Mortars, though, coming on in, doing some damage. And Panzer Grenadier is able to capture the VP, which is allowing the uh, Germans to keep on that pressure on the Allies. Meanwhile, this guy is going very defensively. Firefly doing... A backwards advance, sure, why not? That 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 makes sense. Let's it, again. The weakest part of the tank is the rear, so let's have that charge the enemy. Meanwhile, the Panther is 
I'm assuming still, like, attempting to help over here. And I love how the British made defenses that made the Germans even better placed. God, what is all... Wait, look at these... What is, what is this, a paintball arena? It feels like a paintball arena. Anyway, uh, the remember, the MG42 will hit that uh, infantry while the main gun will deal with the Churchill. The Churchill, in a, on a, of itself, is not exactly designed to fight Panthers. It's designed to kill infantry. Sure, its armor is fine and can take Panther hits, but don't expect it to fight. Where's your AT guns? Where, where Where's your additional support? Right now, you're, you have to be asking your ally, Hey, Masa, can you come over and assist me? Uh, I'm dying over here a lot. And I could really use any bit of support, possibly, against this panther. Because my Churchill will fucking die if I don't do something quick. Now, uh, he doesn't have the manpower or fuel to get himself a Firefly, at least right at this moment. Soon, yes, but not now. Um, AT gun can also be applicable in this situation if I push them back. Meanwhile, Far is like, okay, screw this. I have a thousand manpower, 200 fuel. I'm pushing up that damn hill and I'm gonna take it with whatever I can. British, the British might have the high ground, but the Germans have the, the sheer ferocity and firepower to push up and take the high ground away. Unlike Anakin. But, uh, MG probably would be better placed in that heavy cover that we can kind of cover the hill. Um, on the left, maybe a, another flak emplacement. They're very cheap in terms of like what they, the damage they have. Again, it's only a few pop caps, so pushing up that hill might be uh, really good. We have a suppressing run in place, suppressing the the infantry, stopping the engineers from healing. That why is it healing yet suppressed? Someone want to tell me that? Artillery coming down. We do have a dead Vickers over here. A voice also at a thousand manpower. I fully expect a tiger to be deployed. Very, very soon. Um, again, his biggest issue, even though he has a good defense, he has two bunkers providing a defense in case they charge. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers on standby in case that is the case. I would say pack guns, a pack gun would be very good to try to push back that armor, to be 100% honest. Now, I know he doesn't have it, but this building is so cheap that I would get it. You want the pack gun, hold back the armor, and kind of push up that hill. And a lot of times I would say, okay, if they were limited... They have more limited resources. I could see it. I can understand. But he has 1,100 manpower. He could absolutely get those reserves out and onto the field. Meanwhile, his allies decided, fuck the right. I'm going to focus on the left and try to beat back Voice. And uh, Voice, however, is getting some support. Faraday is deploying smoke for recon purposes. And I'm assuming maybe some block vision of some long range stuff up the hill. Not entirely sure. Firefly and Crawwell engaging the Panzer IV. Panzer Grand Grandiers are going to need to come up and assist. I don't think he realizes there's a Firefly there. I think he just did. Unfortunately, it's a little too, little too late. And yeah, he's going to be annihilated. MG suppressing the infantry right there. We have a Panther now. Oh my god, he's like, fuck your heavy cover. It's all going down. So yeah, the British infantry now have no cover to speak of, and now additional squads are coming on in. Mostly Sturms with Panzer Shreks, which aren't as effective against these units, but they'll still do something. Meanwhile, again, we still have this entire uh, armor group up here with AT and MGs, people mortar, I am assuming, trying to hit them. British infantry shredding the Sturm Pioneers as they should, because they're Sturm Pioneers. Churchill not coming into play with the Royal Engineer. Panther trying to assist. Uh, I, I don't know where he's going, but I think a Panzerfaust on that with a Panther assist would be very helpful. At least to me. Again, luckily suppression from the numerous bunkers on the field and a Tiger from the dead Panzer IV. So yeah, you had to sacrifice a Panzer IV to get a Tiger. Sure, why not? Anyway, nice shot. Uh, almost annihilating that entire squad. One model remains. Yeah, uh... They're going to need that Firefly and AT and all that stuff to really stand a chance against all that. Panzer Shrek would also be good, and it is moving on in. Oh, dude, this Tiger's overextending like hell. Dude, what are you doing? Smoke, smoke, get out of there. Yep, Firefly doing what it does best. MG suppressing that MG. What? Oh, my God, they're barely out of range. And now Cromwell's opening fire on it. This is where a pack gun would be very helpful for your team. Now, uh, we have a Firefly on the field, provided by K. Vision, coming on in. Oh my god, misses the rockets. Panther 
Luring out it into the Vercan Warfare. Very nice. Might be able to kill it. Hold on. Does miss the shot, though. Gonna be a little more. Wait. Can he take... Panther, put it down. Oh, he misses. Oh, man. That sucks. Could have put down the Firefly if he had a chance. But yeah, on the Tiger, don't move it up without, like, coverage. Oh, good. He put another... Yeah, again, I think these fly emplacements are, what, four population? They're honestly pretty damn cheap. And, you know, just overall, not bad. Just... Meanwhile, Minesweeper in play to stop those Teller Mines that may have been crippling the, the British armor for a bit too long. Mine... Oh, my God. He's going to blow up the Teller Mines. Never mind. Didn't blow up. That's kind of hilarious. Don't worry. I'll, I'll blow up my mine and blow up the British. Nope. Apparently, that will, was not the case. Please let the Cromwell shoot and kill. Okay, he's going around. Good. AT's being knocked out by the Obosodaten squad. Uh, let's see. We have support guns still there. We have double for Cadmorphers waiting in case they charge their armor. Again, Masai is being very cautious with, with his units, and I think that's helping him out a lot. Okay, Vision. No, I mean, like, to be fair, I think that a little worse luck, probably that Firefly would have perished. So, honestly, not too shabby of a player, but again, I think that his more blobby slash conventional tactics have not done him any favors. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Uh, mine didn't blow up because that's what sweepers do. Interesting. I thought, well, wait, no, sweepers reveal mines. I thought they can still blow up them. I thought a mine can still blow up. Because I've seen mines blow up. When, when, when shot at. So that's why I was like, wait a second. Because I was going to say, you can still blow up. I mean, like if a demo is revealed, you can still blow that up. I'm assuming with a mine, you just direct fire at it. No one go kablooey. Uh, anyway, I'll test it out later. We'll see. In any case, MG stopping the infantry push. Another Tiger's on the field because fuck it. He has so much munitions and manpower and fuel. He's like, I'll just keep, I'll just keep deploying armor. Firefly's still here, dude. You need yourself a T. By itself, it will not work. Faraday, where's your panther? Coming in, although he's fighting some AT infantry. Oh, uh, false uh, is coming on in, trying to push them back. Flamethrower unit trying to push back the AT gun. Okay. K Vis just decided, yeah, but my side, it's screwed. I keep dying, uh, like that pioneer squad. Um, I, I'm going to focus on your side. I'm going to focus on helping my ally. Uh... Yes, uh, Cloud, I will be playing with subs, but right now I am doing a cast game. I want to do more casts uh, via live. Unfortunately, I was going to do another one, but unfortunately, time-wise, time I'm just going to do one game, and then I'm going to switch over to uh, do some uh, mono -e mono uh, games with subs and patrons. Meanwhile, Firefly coming in on the... Oh, my... Okay, well... That was anticlimactic. Anyway, British Infantry trying to take mid, but being suppressed by the MG bunkers. Uh, let's see. Firefly and Cromwell could put into that, but they're right now staying back. We have Falschmanger uh, Airborne Strike going into a play, so if they reveal anything, the strikes could come in. British actually advancing in the German territory for once in this game. I think it's the first time we've seen this. Um, so, you know. Yes, you direct fire on a mine, it will blow up. Thank you, Joey. I knew I was somewhat right. They're trying to kill it. Also, we do have a teller mine there. I'm assuming that way if they busted the armor. Not a bad idea, putting it next to the, that bar. Why? Oh, please. Please let the armor t get neutralized by it. Anyway, we have another flak emplacement going down in mid. This one's a little further back. The bunkers are already doing the work. I would have moved it here. Oh, my God. Well, he destroyed it, but he also fucked over his Cromwell. Dude, you bet. If you don't kill this Cromwell, I'm going to be so disappointed in you. Okay, you kill one British infantry squad at the very least. That's good. Now, kill that it. Oh, my God. Like, seriously, go kill that shit. You could easily kill it. Even with the tiger back in you. Oh, come on. He's staying back. Oh, my God. The times that they could charge, they don't. The times they don't charge, they... Oh, my God. They get wrecked. Uh, anyway. Churchill. Uh, wow. Panther blowing up that Royal Engineer squad. Oh, my God. The double AT is inbound. Also, the Centaur is on the field. Interesting. 
support gun trying to help. I am, why are they not throwing ET? Why are they not throwing ET grenades? I don't know. Uh, 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 that would have been a mur- that would have murdered that unit if you would have done that, but you didn't. To be fair, he did lose the tiger already. Yes, I know that, but the Panzer Grenadiers could have moved up and killed that stuff. It looks like the, these squads will survive. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Not too shabby. So, yeah, he went with Hammer. So, we could see a comment on the field. And we are about to. And this guy went Anvil. So, again, they each have their special abilities. We'll have a comment on the field. Hopefully, that will help him out. At least holding his side. The fact that he's kept most of his armor alive on this side, or at least in fighting order for majority of this game, is actually quite astounding, even with all the Teller Mines. Love the support gun being like, yeah, I'll take out the armor. <laughs> if the if our armor won't, I'll target it. I Again, I, I'll, I can see that if the armor is barely alive. But it's not like you're going to do all that much with the support gun. I mean, maybe that's why you have all the penetration bulletins for the howitzers and mortars and whatnot, so that way they can kill the armor. Who knows? Any case... Black emplacement putting an end to the British infantry. Although they might decap it, I don't think they're going to take it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they're going to be suppressed. Oh, Fulshmiger's coming on in with nine kills. Is that the most kills that we have? F 16 for the Panther, which is almost back up to full health. Support gun needs to pull back. Bunker is suppressing them, but you definitely don't want to lose that veteran, see? Fulshmiger's coming. Oh my god. Bundle grenade! Bundle grenade! Bundle grenade! Bundle grenade, come on. Bundle grenade. Oh, we have air support coming on left. We also have artillery coming down by the Brits. Strafing gun's gonna suppress it. A lot of armor moving on in. Tiger, oh my god. There's five British armored vehicles pushing against that Tiger and it's still not taking an ounce of damage. Holy crap, I'll give it up to the Tiger on that one. Not sure why it turned this way to retreat unless the Panthers are coming in, which they're kind of staying back, so I don't know. Churchill chasing the tiger deeper into Axis territory. Panthers need to come in and save the day, which I think they are. Unfortunately, that's that thing perished. Come on, Panthers. You need to take out some armor. You need to. You have to. Oh, some great shots by the Panthers. He's trying to smoke away. They're going after the weaker target, although they can still see him. Air support coming on in, hang the centaur, but that should put an end to the planes rather quickly. AT gun assisting. Cromwell, a lot of units coming on in. This Panther will probably die. Again, you could have direct fired against that. Luckily, the Sturms might be able to finish it off. Panther, unfortunately, dying. And the other Panther is trying to limp itself away. But there's so much British armor doing so much damage. For Kenworth, it would have been better if moved into the fray to help out with the, against all that armor. Luckily, one last shot from the Sturms could kill the Cromwell. Uh, not enough. All the British armor makes it out alive. He has four armored vehicles, and they all made it out. Both Churchills survived as well, ladies and gentlemen. Both Churchills survived. The Tiger and a Panther did not, but don't worry. Faraday's like, I've been wanting to get a King Tiger for quite some time, so don't worry, I got this. Why do I believe the Churchill is a more refined version of the Mark V? Because it is. Like that, a lot, like it, that, that essentially... A lot of British and French tanks uh, take a lot of staples from World War One, where the Germans were like, let's just make a really good tank. And to be fair, like, different eras of different factions and different nations also have, like, the, an era of a tank that's really superior to many others. But again, it's just up in the air in terms of, like, quality and other things. Of, like, how long they keep the production going, how long the production is able to go for without, like, material issues and other things that pop into play. For, like, example, 1945 Germany materials might be a little, little shorter than 1941 Germany. Um, Italy, 1943, might be a little different than 1940. Also, as the eras progress, the, the different tank models and everything changes over time. So, a, like, a light tank in 1939 may not play the same use as it would be in 1945. Needs more guns. Yeah, it needs, you know what? It needs a giant armament like this. That, that's what it needs. That, that's exactly what it needs. Now, luckily, Messiah's like, all right, listen. I'm healing my armor, but your Churchill's? I'm not healing that. You can heal it yourself. 
Uh, luckily, um, he is healing. Not a lot of munitions for the allies, I'll say that. I do think they need more resources. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Bob Semple, I think, is a good tank. I, I, I think that would be really, really interesting to see on the British side. Um, although, fun fact, I think if they were to put that in, I think it would be worth a one population per tank, so that we could have 100 Bob Semples versus a Tiger, and I think the Tiger might still win that battle. I think it might still win. Any case, Tiger and King Tiger now in mid, backed up by a Panther, and they still have Panzer Grandiers, but once again, voice... The biggest issue I find is not the fact you have AT. I think you need a pack gun and Panzer Grenadier. Not pa sorry, not Panzer Grenadiers. Grenadiers to fight the British infantry from long range and also fight their armor from long range without putting your armor and infantry in peril. Churchills were made for trench warfare. Man, all that trench warfare. World War uh, Two. Man, although you could say like to Brook and a few other locations, which which were just under siege for so fucking long. AT gun. Possibly you can open fire? Come on, you can do it. Anyway, armor just murdering that stuff, so good shots right there. Armor moving on in against the tiger. Again, Firefly uh, keep staying back. Cromwell going in from uh, around the side. Pans uh, sorry, for Ken Murphy, though, guarding its flank. A large infantry push coming on in. Pans Grandiers, focus on the armor! I don't know why they're charging here unless you're going to bundle grenade it. A good shot with the Panzer Grenadiers would kill it. Cromwell has been decrewed by the Tiger and Rekenwerfer. Good job there. Panther staying back, uh, weirdly enough. Rekenwerfer, again, right on the edge. Uh, minesweepers detect the Teller Mines. Churchill advancing. Plane crash almost on the King Tiger. AT gun firing from afar. Murders all those engineers, which I don't know why you would heal in the middle of an engagement. They managed to kill the Cromwell. Churchill might perish if they can direct fire through the smoke. Or the air strike comes in and kills it. Centaur in place. Once again, don't expect those planes to last too long. Most likely will be shot down. And overall, that engagement was not pro-British. That, that was a good defensive engagement by the Germans in order to hold territory. Sure, they still have the, these units currently capturing stuff and placing mines of their own. Which is actually hilarious if you think about it. If they place mines over the over the teller mine to be like, and here, so that way it would blow up. Uh, if you're wondering about armor designs, I'm not entirely up to date with that stuff, so I don't know why they wouldn't put something on the Churchill, or maybe if they did, why it wasn't used. So, there's that. King Tiger and Panther barely took any hits. Voice, probably the worst thing was his Tiger. Also, we have a Brumbar on the field. Very nice. Armor-wise, we did lose the amazing Cromwell. That was Vet 3. But he instead, he's getting himself another Comet, and he's up to max uh, population. Though he will need some time to reinforce, heal up, and get back fully in action. Meanwhile, the Germans might take this opportunity to advance, which would be proper. Uh, there we go. All right, so he knows about the mines, and he's detonating them with bundle grenades. So there you go. You can blow them up when detected, because he could detect those mines, and he blew them up. Fair play. Am I right? Let's see. I know. I, I will say this. I know the Soviets were like, hey, why not we put the B-4 howitzer onto a tank? Uh, and then the tank literally blew itself, uh, like, almost blew itself in pieces. So, uh, maybe it just didn't come together. Also, Don needs to retreat. May I just get out of there. Barely. King Tiger coming on in. One good shot. And I can see all these infantry dying. I can see a ton. Like that. Like that. I can see a ton of infantry dying. Uh, he has no AT with that. So I don't know what his plan is per se. Panther and Tiger putting pressure on this. Again. We have artillery coming down by the concentration fire operation. Or concentrated fire operation. To try to break them up in this region. Plus we have British artillery coming in to break those bunkers. That have been causing them hell for a number of... Pretty much throughout this entire game. Firefly on the field, so we got something to fight off the king. For Ken Weaver's still in play, though, so if he gets too close, he would be neutralized. Uh, yeah, the same reason why the pan Panther uh, didn't have... Sorry, the Panther's gun was on the Panther 4. Maybe. Uh, like I said, I'm not entirely sure. It also could just be the fact, like, okay, is it really smart to put this super powerful, very expensive gun on this tank that probably doesn't have the life expectancy of it? 
Maybe, maybe not, but I don't know. Anyway, that AT gun. About to kill the... Oh my god. That man is stuck underneath the armor. Oh, there we go. They, don't worry. The British saved him. They just blew up the tank. Panzergrenadier is moving on in. Again, one glass shot. Ah, oh, too late. And the tiger died. I, I somehow don't understand how he has a lot of AT yet not enough. It's, it's, it's kind of astounding to me that he hasn't done more with those Panzer Shreks. Luckily, uh, Faraday's like, yeah, I'm just going to cut off the, the allies again because F it. I, I, I just, I despise them. And tries to go in for the cutoff. Not able to, though. Actually, would probably need additional territory to do that. But I, I digress. He, he was he was trying, all right? He's trying. He's at max population. He has he, He's trying to do what he can against an enemy that's being very annoying. And which armor is it die, it won't, won't die, essentially. Meanwhile, Voice Stealer does have a Panther to assist. But with the double comets coming on into play, I don't think that Panther's really going to stand much of a chance. No, that's the third Tiger of the day moving on in. Because... Why the F not? Volschmager's coming in, murdering some British infantry. There's still a second squad right there that he's going to fall back from. Concentration Fire Barrage coming into play, I believe, right over here. Stopping any additional uh, German infantry from moving on in. Take it for a moment. Opal Sudan trying to take mid. Remember, VP point is where it's at. And uh, right now, the Allies are quite down. They're down by almost... Well, very close to three, but a little less than three times the, the, the other number. So the double comments are pushing them back. We have double Rakan Morphers, which again, unsung heroes of this game with all, all the damage they've been doing. But kind of covering mid while the King Tiger deals with the infantry. So good play there. Again, some shots from the AT and Firefly and such trying to push them back. Managing to do so, though not too much damage on that king, uh, that king Tiger. Tiger Tank and Panther on standby. Panzer and Deers could move on in. We do have an MG here, so once again, I think an allied smoke would be appropriate. The British have been very good at cooperating. Oh my god, or just bust through the barbed wire. He spent a lot of hard work and time building that. Nice shots, but uh, maybe have your Panzer and Deers focus on the armor. Luckily, the Vickers is uh, out of position in terms of trying to suppress. One more shot would do it, although we have an airstrike coming on in, so maybe that will kill it. We will see. What, where they will, what will they go for? Yes, there's suppression around, but the AT will eventually come on in. Come on. We gonna see anything? Nothing. Okay, I'm actually kind of disappointed. I really want that strike to kill the Comet. Maybe this will be it? Nope, they, they don't have sight. They're just going to fly around until they get sight back. God damn it. Nice idea, but you need consistent, you know, engagement so that way the enemy, so that way your airplanes can see where the enemy is. Because otherwise, Fog of War is in play, and they can't see anything. Ah, uh, Tiger Tank's on the front. Panzer Grenadier is getting healed up. At least he has medical. Uh, once again, I feel like for the amount of infantry this guy has, he doesn't have a lot of front line infantry. And that's my biggest concern with the Germans, is they would be doing a lot better if they had frontline infantry to fight all this British infantry. Or at least try to hold it back, because British infantry is not doing as well as they think they could be. And I think more like Falschmagers and Obus Verdotten would really help out. Also, yeah, he's over 100 pop gap, mind you. Um, I'm assuming he recruits something, which is why he has that. Maybe the support gun. But, uh... Yeah, he's over 100 population, so yeah, why not? Sport gun coming on in, trying to target that MG, which, by the way, at Vet 3, along with some of, uh, other Messiah forces. Again, good job with that Firefly getting, getting, what, four? No, I'm sorry, two vehicles destroyed and, uh, you know, a couple other things in the mix. Now, the Germans need to capture this territory or capture the left. Unfortunately, with the uh, Vickers redeploying, that's going to be a little bit harder to take unless you drop smoke onto the point. Again, I get it. It's recon, but it also is smoke, so you can take stuff while the enemy can't suppress you and take you. Uh. Oh, I think, chat, you're talking about the uh, the rat, right? That's what you're talking about, the rat tank? That super giant tank that would have been literally a super target for any aircraft? Nice shot with the king on that. I'll give him that. Like, sure, if the, if the enemy doesn't have... 
air supremacy, that thing is going to be a monster. But if the enemy has air supremacy, which the Allies did in 1943 for the most part, ex the only place they could say that the, they did not have air supremacy was probably the Soviet side because of the losses. But that's even more. That was that was more contentious. That was still very close. Big push going in. But all the armor's in the back. Tiger's being AT grenaded by this. Long range AT still opening fire on this. So really good shots across the board. And most of their men will make it out. Oh wait, never mind. Good job. Good kill, Panther. Good kill. King Tiger moving on in. Boy, you still have the double firefly right there. Missiles inbound. Oh my god, that king barely dodging those missiles. Great shots. Unfortunately, the... Oh, plane crash. We have another plane crash. Airstrike comes in. Helps suppress. I believe either that was the bunker. Something had to have done something, I would assume. I like how this panther's like, screw it. I'm going to attack behind the line. And you know what? You should. You should. You can't. You're not winning against the British heads on, head on. You're, you're not. You're absolutely not. I mean, King Tiger can move in right now and do a little more damage. Possibly kill that stuff from behind. Panther needs to get the fuck out. I know he's trying to kill the cash, but it's not worth the Panther. Oh, wait. Maybe it is. He's at 100 pop cap. He could be like, I want a new Panther and get a new one. I wouldn't recommend it because you want better and see, but whatever. 20 kills. Again, move up the Vercad Morphers so the Fireflies get targeted, but th th that's, that's me. This infantry, by the way, it had a... Hard time healing because he was that population. He couldn't heal him. So much armor, having trouble. King Tiger, so King Tiger has to pull on back again. Pan's Grandiers coming on in. How many armor kills have you gotten, Pan's Grandiers? Before I keep yelling at you, none. None. All right, get a kill. You should be able to get a kill. Get a kill, please. By the way, if you follow my channel, I'll give you a shout at the end of the video. So once again, thank you. They're pushing on in. Again, a lot of injured armor. But alas, this guy is now moving in. Masai is like, hey, remember me and my armor that's been around this entire game? When the allies are having better armor engagements than the fucking Germans. Oh. Double Comets and Fireflies doing work. For Kenworfer, though, up to Vet 4. Look at that. They, it's, it's Vet 4. Oh my god, it's brought down to a third. Is that King still in effect? Oh my god, King can move up. Oh, dude. For Ken, we're for kill it, please. 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 Aw, oh, damn it, he dropped smoke. He dropped goddamn smoke. Although, you could have direct fired. Again, I feel like a lot of these players don't know how to direct fire. There's an option in the commands that you can attack ground or attack a specific spot on the map with your units. That's what I recommend. That's what I absolutely recommend. Because that way you could get a lot of these British infantry units while they're on the retreat. Any case, nice shot put on the British infantry trying to take that point. So again, another Tiger. We'll see how long this one lasts. At least the Panther survived. Oh, God. At least the Panther survived. Stuka being developed. Although he's at population, so it's not being developed. Fireflies actually get a hit with their rockets. I know, astounding. And the Tiger pulls on back. Again, AT gun. Double Firefly. Having some issues, but... Infantry section managing to take the spot. Is that... Wait, hold on. Is that Bren? Hot damn. Maybe maybe take that? Oh, we have uh, British artillery coming into play. Churchill as well. Panzerfaust it! You better... Pa or may maybe just stay uh, you know, undetected. Or oh, Nope. Not. All right. Sure. The reason why I say that is because that way that it's literally in the mix of all this artillery coming into play. And if it has crippled engine, maybe it takes more damage, but whatever. Once again, we have Panzergradiers coming in. Once, oh my god, he's so lucky he redeployed that Vickers. He's like, of course they're going to come this way. Oh, good. The British place mine, so he's not totally incompetent. Also, I love how this guy keeps saying Panzer Grenadiers to fight this armor, which I understand. You want you want to hurt the armor, but he's versing comets, which are designed to versing all targets. So the Panzer Grenadiers will take an absorbent amount of damage and not get close. Now, the one positive is that the Germans, especially Faraday, has a ton of manpower reserve. But so does Messiah. Messiah's been like also in a really interesting state because 
Oh, by the way, Centaur has killed 18 planes, but mind you. 18 fucking planes have been shot down by the British. But somehow the Germans are getting worse airplane losses than the Battle of Britain. But in any case, uh, King Tiger really not supported. Again, this Vrakan Warfare, while I really enjoy these uh, Vrakan Warfers in covering against armor, need to kind of move up to kind of cover the king. Because if those fireflies move in with the AT gun against this sucker, what? Where's the infantry? Why are you moving? Okay, never mind. You're moving up. Okay, you're trying to wait and push in, but also you have all this. What's stopping him from? Oh, oh Panthers moving in right now. But also Panzer Grenadiers aren't backing him up, so yeah, he's gonna lose that fight. Nice shot though with these Sturms. And again, we have air support, which is the the, uh, the Falschmager like close um, uh, air support ability. Frag bomb came into play. British infantry pulling on back. Now he needs infantry to move on in, especially with the dead panther. And also his armor is just up on the hill. It's not even that injured. Centaur shoot, trying to shoot down the planes. One firefly is available. The other one, I believe, died in the back. Where's the king? Oh, there's the king. I'm focusing on the infantry all grouped up. I would too. Damn it, the high bar stopped you. Tiger taking some damage from the uh, triple armor threat. Panzer Grenadier is trying to come in. Smoke! Allies, help me! Also, the Vakan Warfare back here, but at least, you know, he did move that up to try to assist. King Tiger trying to assist, trying to help on out in mid, and luckily the False Mayors and Noble Sedan are advancing. 21 kills for that sucker. But they're going to need, need to move up the other Vakan Warfare, which is back here. For some reason, to really start doing damage and also have equal coverage on the other side. Again, this high bar is stopping the King Tiger from putting shots on the infantry, which is quite astounding. Oh, nice grenade. Pushes them back. Churchill's gonna need to fall back. Germans didn't take munitions, but they did take the VP points. So that will start putting a lot more pressure on the VP points for the Allies. And Masai doesn't have a huge infantry fighting force. He's also. Been taking a number of casualties via his infantry, so at least that's positive. Stuka's on the field. Please, that'd be a good Stuka hit. Never mind. It was a complete whiff. We have uh, British artillery coming in on the Tiger. Churchill backing up through its smoke. A T-gun moving on in, by the way. Vet 3 has killed two vehicles with that. A, a top tier. Top tier AT gun, like this Vet 5 or Ken Warfare that's been guarding the flank. Which, mind you, he still has all of his armor. All of his, his double comet, I think he's still only, I think Messiah has only lost, and I could be wrong in this, but I think he's only lost to Cromwell for this entire game. Hell, it flipped a panther on a rare occasion. Uh, oh yeah, the drive, okay. In any case, artillery is coming down. A T gun's kind of here. Again, King Tiger moving back. I'm assuming for repairs. Stern Pioneers back at base, but their populations so we can't. He has 1600 manpower. Faraday is doing very well with his keeping his units alive and doing what he can. Again, the problem with this infantry is the fact. Well, to be very specific, this infantry has done shit killing the armor. Yeah, they've more focused on infantry, which is what they're not designed to. Sure, they've actually survived, which I'll give them credit. But I don't think a stormtrooper surviving to the end of the Empire is really all that good of a plus. It just didn't really do all that much. Even if it somehow survived that long. A lot of British infantry pouring on in. That King Tiger is being overwhelmed by a huge margin. Stuka, that would be a great Stuka target. Firefly slowly advancing. For Ken Werfer, Vet 5 does knock out something. Fortunately, uh, it's being uh, probably going to be killed. Damn it. Aw, oh, damn it. I really like that unit. But yeah, yeah, it looks like the British tried to come around with the Churchill and the Vet 5 for Ken Werfer. Sacrificed itself for the greater good. Uh, meanwhile, for some fucking reason, they're coming around here. I, I'm guessing killing more caches. I mean, I guess it's fine. You're knocking them out, but you really... Hold on. Stuka's coming on in. Doesn't... Oh, it does! It actually hit it! 
I'll give him credit. Actually, he hurt the he killed the infantry. There we go. Now I would again the deep strikes it killed two cash. So that's 500. That's 500 manpower. Okay. Now as long as all this stuff survives, I'm fine with it. They're running together, make it a little bit bigger of a target. But it looks like they will survive. Looks like he will survive. Tiger's on the field. Guys, is this the fourth or fifth tiger? I forget. Any case, whatever number it is, it is now on the field and hopefully going to try to help. Meanwhile, the... Oh, my God. Besides, like, okay, F this game. I'm just going to charge in and take over the right. Which, to be fair, Faraday has planned well in advance this assault and has placed multiple mines and defenses in this region. Unfortunately, the common seem to don't care and seem to have blown up said mines. Tiger tank moving on in. MG gets killed by a mine. King Tiger slowly moving on in. He's lost a number of his units, but he has tons of manpower. Again, just overwhelming firepower by three fucking comets. Although sport gun gets a nice hit. It's going to kill the tiger. Nice rocket barrage, by the way. I I don't understand. Voice stealer. Voice stealer. Let's send some stuff into support. Like, I, Faraday's at least has for, for Ken Werfer. Oh my god, please kill at least one comet. For the love of fuck, please. Oh my, mine. Mine. Damn it. 20th Tiger. Thank you, Dapper Man. I, I'm, I'm glad you were able to get that. Uh, Panzer Grandiers. Finally kill a Firefly. 56 minutes in. Finally get a Firefly. Holy crap. Oh my god. They kill a Comet. The Panzer Grandiers did something. They did something. Holy shit. The stormtroopers actually killed someone. It's astounding. Stuka's coming in on target. Will I actually get a hit? Uh, no. They hit units over there for some... I'm assuming they were trying to get them on their retreat, but... I don't know. I would rather hit this region. King Tiger, 33 kills. Oh, about to get a few more if it hits right there. Come on. I mean, smart. It's pulling back. Again, you don't want to be up by an AT grenade or something and be pinned. Also, he's focusing on vehicles, so he's not going to focus on the infantry. Might be a bit of a waste right there. For Ken, if we're still in range, could fire. Focus on the armor because it's not prioritizing vehicles, but the King Tiger is, even though it can kill this infantry in one shot. Oh my god. Armor still focusing on uh, vehicles. Although it's at least the MG still getting kills. About to be hit by British artillery. For Cadmore for pulling on back to a better defensive spot. I can almost guarantee the communication between Faraday and Voice. He's probably at, at tailing a Voice. What the F is going on? Where's your armor? Where's your support? I literally have been doing all this. And Fer Voice is like, I've killed two armored vehicles. And he's like, that's great. That's amazing. I'm so glad for you. But still, that's over this entire game, that's the first two armored vehicles you've killed. And he's like, duh. I killed the, the Cromwell. And the Faraday's like, no, my Verkenwerfer killed the Cromwell. What have you done? Uh, they have used 121th of the German Tigers in this game. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad so many Tigers died for no fucking reason. Uh, anyway, Panther opening fire on the cash. Uh, again... Need to regain this fuel at the bare minimum. Faraday, 1,800 manpower, 500 fuel. He is on the, he's on, he's on the top of his game. Like, seriously, he is doing very well. By the way, by the positioning of this, I thought the King Tiger was a vet 5 for a second. I'm like, what? But no. Uh, vet 3, 36 kills. Doing very well. We have a vet 5 Sturm, which has also gotten at least one vehicle kill. And has one Panzer Shrek. More air support. Although, he is lacking a lot of munitions, so I don't know how effective that will be. Because, again, we still have the Centaur, which, by the way, has killed 22 Axis planes over the course of this game. Bottom grenade going off. Actually getting a good hit, pushing back the British infantry. Uh, probably needs to move in the mortar or something to hit it. They're all grouped up as well, so at least the airstrikes are doing quite a bit of damage to all of them. Unfortunately, they all crash in the same spots. That's 24 German planes that have been killed by that single anti-air gun. Meanwhile, the Panther now has to engage two Comets and a Firefly, which 
is actually, I know a lot of times I'll say, like, get a Churchill and a Firefly, but these Comet Firefly combos are doing really well. Especially with their speed. Their speed of getting in and out of battle, at least uh, from Asai, has been really, really good. So, I'll give him credit. Nice Comet shot. Uh, putting it into that Panzer Grenadier squad. Nope, it still lives. God damn it. Well, one can only hope it dies. Meanwhile, the one thing is K Vision has barely any army, but also Voice Dealer has no army. I swear to God, he's going to get another Tiger, isn't he? And it's going to die in like two seconds, isn't it? All right, chat. I'm going to pl place your bets. How long is the next Tiger going to last? Is it going to be 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes? Whoever's closest, I'll give a sub to. Whoever's closest, place your bets in chat. Anyway, long range firefly to point some shots. Because we all know this guy's going to give himself another tiger. How long? How long is he going to last? Closest person. Uh, do, oh, it doesn't have to be over or under. It's just closest when in general time. We'll get a free sub. Uh, and we'll go over that at the end. Fireflies, uh, unfortunately, I would rather have upgraded at the very least with the tank commander. But, okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a ton of munitions. So, that's going to be a, a bit of time. All right, so we got 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute 30, a minute. All right, we'll see how long this tiger lasts. All right, it came in at, hold on. I'll say, just for preference, I'll say 120. It moved in around 120. So 120, it moved in. Panzer Grenadiers, uh, nothing stopping them from taking this area. Probably should. VP point-wise, the allies are down significantly. The Germans need a couple points. Oh my god, Falschmigger's killed AT gun. That would be a huge morale boost. Uh, that Vet 3 AT gun's been just a bane in the existence. Tiger coming on in. Charging dead on. It's, oh my god. It's, it's, uh, it, it's going in for a suicide attempt, ladies and gentlemen. It's already moving on in. Opening fire. Now, the question is, will he move up his stuff? I'm assuming the Panzer Grenadier, as long as they're there, they won't. He's at... Oh, damn it. He's actually pulling back. Son of a bitch. We are close to victory. All right. Armor's moving on in, trying to beat back those Panzer Grenadiers. As soon as it is destroyed, I'm assuming they will push forward. And the Comets are doing work. They're just lining it up, and the Panzer Grenadiers do not have the range to really... Uh, to damn it. King Tiger moving on to the field. Double Firefly, though, causing a bit of damage. For Ken, where for could be used to move up to assist. Because that King cannot fight the Fireflies by itself. Tiger, by the way, has moved all the way back to base. He is rip. He does not want that thing to die. Holy shit. Uh, I, why is it in his base? Dude, he must be having, like, Vietnam fly. Oh, shit. He must be having flashbacks on that thing. Like, no, it can't It can't die. Meanwhile, a new King Tiger's on the field because literally you can deploy two more King Tigers and it would be fine. Jesus. Anyway. Kray Vision has rebuilt his army. He's actually got himself a uh, croc. So that's good. So a minute 20, the thing has been alive for two minutes. That's probably the longest a tiger on his side has lived. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. All right. So, it, I, yeah, it took one hit and it's already healing. So, yeah, he's having a fun... He's like a, a person who had his her child, like, God missing, like, five times. And now the child's not allowed to leave its room. Even though the mom is the reason why the child, like, went and got lost each and every time. Meanwhile, the crocodile is just walking through enemy territory. There's not much stopping it. Although, I think a panther moving over would do a lot of work. Panzer Grenadiers coming on in. Putting a lot of pressure on that poor... Oh my god. Actually, I take that back. Comets are just ripping them asunder. Tiger's moving in, though. We got... It's almost three minutes. Putting a lot... Oh, it, uh, yeah, I think this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the end for the Tiger. A couple more shots. Yep. Alright. Alright. So that's up roughly three minutes. Uh, Dapper Man, you guessed three minutes. You got it. So three minutes was the closest one. 
Congrat. Did you kill the Church of the Croc? Yes, good for you. Unfortunately, did you lose the Panther? Uh, unfortunately for uh, the British, he can easily deploy another one, so it's not that big of a deal. Unfortunately, the biggest issue is Messiah. Nice, Tellermine! Unfortunately, not much else to back it up with, as you have no packs, no long... Again, a pack gun would do so much against this stuff! Like, seriously, one pack gun! But no, he decides, I'm not gonna get the building, because F it, why not? King Tiger being healed next to the carcass of the other one. Um, again, Axe is so close to winning this game. They just need one additional point, and they got this. The art of the pack. Uh, meanwhile, British infantry trying to regain the territory that the, uh, Faraday took over. Faraday did lose a number of his best units, like the Abel Sadatin and a few other units, which I think he could quickly deploy and get. Um, there we go. Killed a Royal Engineer squad. Oh my god. K. Vistian. K. Vistian is the opposite of voice for the British. He, luckily, he managed to keep his stuff alive in armor-wise. Infantry-wise, not so much. He's lost that huge British blob from the beginning quite efficiently and effectively. Voice needs to read this. Yeah, I, I agree. Panzer, again, and I, I hate the fact he has these Panzer Radiers fighting. Like, again, I'm not saying they won't kill stuff over time, but my issue is they need something to fight infantry. These Panzer Grenadiers are upgraded for anti-armor capabilities, not infantry. That's like telling a tank destroyer, uh, let's like equipping a tank and then like forming it to be a tank destroyer, a la like a Sherman into like a Firefly-esque model, because it uses the same like chassis and a lot of the same equipment, uh, just you know with a different cannon. But still, I digress. You know, it's like it's like giving it that. And then saying, all right, your new job is to go fight infantry. Sure, I, I'm 100% sure a tank destroyer would pulverize an, uh, a person if, 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 the, if the round went directly. Especially against so many people running in an open field. But that's not what it's designed for. Is there real? Holy shit. All right, 107, place your bets. It came in at 107, place your bets. How long this thing's going to live? Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. How long is this thing going to live? It started at 107. Three minutes for Joey. Three minutes for Joey. Note, if you if someone guesses the same one, uh, the first person to guess them that one would be it. Again, this uh, again Messiah's armor line has been fantastic. King Tiger trying to get the hell out of there. Perishing. He's going to use more of his uh, fuel and manpower to get a new King Tiger on the field. Luckily, a decent Stuka does a uh, decent amount of damage. Only 14 kills, though, this game. But again, it's not like the British in has had a ton of armor. Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh, my God. Are you serious? Someone was really happy. Someone... I oh, my God. Just Thomas was like... <laughs> Just Thomas like I'm about to get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Ah. Anyway, two victory points are under German control. As long as they hold it, they'll win this game. Unfortunately, they're not focusing their infantry there for God knows why. And uh, it lost certain pioneers on the front, so I'm assuming to quickly heal the armor. But the allies are at what three three VP points. Planes could be called in to assist. Again, Panther taking a nice shot. For Kenworfer needs to move back up. That's his biggest issue. That for Kenworfer is doing a lot of work on the front. Firefly is a bit too close. For King Tiger can easily hit them. And actually kill them. Oh my god, that had 3-1 might perish. Rockets can't be fired. Don't think he has munitions for it. King Tiger, uh, sorry, Tiger's back up. Remember, it's been two minutes now since it's been deployed. Someone said it'll survive the entire game. Please die in two minutes. Sorry, that is not the case. It has lasted longer than two minutes at this point. Although it's moving in, ladies and gentlemen. It is moving in. Oh my god. Firefly opening fire from the one barely alive. If that king over Ken Buffer could just fire. Up! Oh! And at 2 minutes and 40... 
three seconds, it died. Two minutes, 43. Uh, two minutes, 43. Who was closest? Who was closest? That would be Joey. Joey is the closest one. So, d goddamn. Phoenix, if it was a few seconds earlier, you would have got... I'm like, 15 seconds earlier, you would have got that. Alas. Now... Um, Joey and Dapper Man, you both, wait, give me, oh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about it after the game. Meanwhile, missiles miss. Look at that, Sturm support. Finally, one dies. Finally, a comet dies. Although British artillery is about that, that King Tiger. Additional Panzer Shreks hitting that comet. King Tiger going in for the kill. Misses the shot while moving. Artillery is coming in. Fireflies could put a final shot in and kill it. They're looking at target. They're looking at it. King Tiger gets KO'd. Still, that is the most... That is the most... Armor deaths we have received this game so far. Holy crap. Well, British Infantry's gonna die there. But, oh, never mind, it lived. Wait. Come on. Aw, oh, damn, if the Rakenwerfer would've gotten that kill, that would've been hilarious. But yeah, Rakenwerfer would have been better if it was focusing over here. Panstrex coming in, try to finish it off. I don't think it will. Stuka coming in. Right behind it. Like an action movie, but misses. We do have another King Tiger on the field. Wow, this guy's deploying a lot. Like, my problem is, like, I think the Rakenwerfers are really helping support this thing. Like, again, additional uh, AT support really does help. Oh, British Infantry going in for the Stuka. Uh, about to throw in artillery on it. Although, he's going to retreat. Maybe just hitting this base would be a good idea. Yeah, he's gonna target the base. I'm close. To, it got to be over, right? Oh my god, he got a pack. Oh, he got a pack! An hour and ten minutes, ladies and gentlemen. It's fine. No, I just said closest. I, it doesn't have to go over. I said over or under, whatever is closest. So, uh, but Joey and Dapper Man, I'll ask you if... I'm assuming uh, I can give you another sub or you guys can just give it away. It's up to you. But in any case, we have a decent fighting force. Is that the first time he's used Valiant Assault? I think it is. I mean, it makes him more powerful, which would have been better if he had an infantry fighting force. Also, that poor Falschmanger squad. It is Vet 5 that's around this entire game, and it might it might be it. Uh, again, the, all the Axis need is to capture it for one second. If I was him, I would just drop the fucking Falschmangers over here and take the point. Even if you just, like, quickly captured it, that would, that would be enough. Just smoke it. So that way it comes in here and take it. <laughs> to waste it so many tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, we may, we may get one more tiger round in this. We may get one more tiger uh, survivability challenge in this. So don't worry. You, If you didn't earn a sub, you may get this. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Falschmagers murdering the British infantry section. Good defense right there. A lot of recruits on the British side, at least for uh, K. Vistian. Panzer Shrek's opening fire. Not able to kill the Comets. They never do. Um, another Comet's on the... F Wait, hold on. Yep, new c they, they, the guy got a new Comet. So he's looking pretty sweet. Managing to survive once again. Fireflies opening fire. We're about to get... get a new gentlemen! Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we'll see if he deploys the tiger. We'll see. All right, new tigers on the field. It is, uh, we'll say a minute 50, a minute, uh, sorry, 13.50 it comes in. Uh, uh, 13.53. Big assault in mid. A lot of forces trying to kill the British so that, we, that way they can move in. Blaze gentlemen, place your bets. How long? Oh, good light gammon bomb on them. Place your bets. How long will that tiger live? Or will it survive the entire game? Will it survive is the question. British infantry. Again, out, I'm sorry. German infantry outside the point. They need to take the damn thing. Pioneers take the point. Pack gun rushing on in. Tiger tanks rushing on in. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to say two minutes. Uh, Fireflies lighting up the king. Taking most of the action. Unfortunately, Faraday cannot deploy another one. Artillery's now in effect. If he would have moved that stuff in sooner. Art, dude, dropping false Jim Yeager's over here. Come on. 
All right, they killed it. They they killed it. Tiger tank is now all that's standing. Pack gun also holding. Kills the firefly. Second tiger moving on in. Kills the second firefly. Pioneers taking the point. This guy's Panzergrandier should be moving up, but fuck it. I guess that's not the case. Move up your mortar. Move up everything. Oh my god. And they miss it. Uh, airstrikes coming on in. Stuff's barely alive. Tiger's pulling back with the king. Stuka coming in, doing a decent amount of damage. British, uh, German infantry needs to go on to that point. I don't care if it's the MG. I don't care if it's a fucking mortar. I don't care if it's a Panzergrenadier squad. You need something in there. I don't care if you drop in a Falschmager strike over here. Fal like, there's, like, again, Falschmager's right here. You could easily, like, there's nothing stopping them from just dropping, killing, taking. Even if you decap the point, that's all you need. Now, the Vickers is going to suppress, and this MG will suppress this uh, force coming on in. Luckily, he's going around. Not a bad idea. Alright, 1350 he came in, so it's been two minutes, and the Tiger is still survived. But he's not getting any... Okay, he's getting some heals. Damn it, you guys were really low on those on those bets. If you have not bet yet, you can still place your time. Oh my god. Germans actually pushing onto the point. These are the these are this is the last chance Faraday has. This is his best unit. 37 kills. Going to try to hold on to this point. He could drop smoke. He could drop smoke. He could drop smoke. That would be a that would be a tactic. A support gun trying to kill it. Why why won't he drop smoke? What is the like what's the harm in dropping smoke? You have a smoke reconnaissance. Drop the fucking thing. Yeah, I know they only have 10 points left. King Tiger's back on the field. Uh, the other Tiger's still at commission for a little bit of time. K. Vistian's just deploying MGs, which is a fucking waste. Oh my god. Oh! MG over here took the point. Man, it's, it's astounding. King Tiger being overwhelmed. Tiger moving up to the front. And the British will hold, it looks like. GG, well played. The Tiger lived. Did anyone say the Tiger lived? Anyone say the Tiger lived? Uh. Nope. Well, lost because of no smoke. Yep. The Tiger did not die, so nobody got it. Damn the silence quickly, like, it'll live. Yeah, sorry, not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, you already voted 210, so, all right, it's fine, you guys did, uh, you, again, you guys are pretty good with that, anyway, let's look at damage, Faraday with 105,000 damage, by the way, thank you, Masai, for submitting this replay, 121,000 damage, 111,000 damage, most kills for Messiah, most kills for Faraday, oh, most, oh, god, okay, so here's what I'm gonna say, K. Vision and Voice were both the worst players in this game, which is surprising because they're both the, the players with the highest amount of playtime. Which, once again, reinforces my statement that rank doesn't fucking matter in this game. At least by the prestige. Faraday, for being the worst player in this game, by far, I think was tied with Messiah for being the best. I don't know which one was better. I'm going to say, overall, quality-wise, Messiah was the best player. And again, thank you, Messiah, for submitting this replay. Here's the rationale. Here's the rationale. The, um, vo and I think Voice Dealer was the worst. Uh, K. Vistia definitely lost all of his units. Same thing like Voice. And you can say Voice kept his Panzergrandiers alive. But mus at the very least, K. Vistian supported his ally a lot more and more effectively. Especially, like, taking over this point. So, I'll, I'll give I'll give credits there. Just an edge to K. Vistian. So, Voice Dealer was the worst person in this game. The reason I say Faraday was second best, even though he has a ton of reserves, is the fact that I think Messiah kept his armor alive for majority. And I think it... Faraday lost his King Tiger way too much and also didn't have a fighting force. Masa did. Masa has bridge infantry that constantly were able to help, repair. He had a good cycle of infantry where I think Faraday, his support equipment, could have been better used. But anyway, still a ton of damage and a ton of kills. Uh, let's actually double check what did most of that. Firefly uh, did most of it for Messiah. K. Vistia, it was, once again, Firefly, 57,000 damage. Holy shit. Voice Stealer. 
Um, hold on. He built, by the way, uh, he built eight tigers, lost seven of them. So that's a lot. Panzer Grand Deers did 19,000, uh, and only killed three vehicles, which is a shame. King Tiger, 29,000 damage. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I, I want to say his Verkenwerfer did, yeah, his Verkenwerfer did almost 23,000 damage. So, pretty good job there. Or 22. But yeah, it was a really good game. It was a good game that kind of highlights that A, rank doesn't matter. B, uh, support uh, definitely is good, especially with packs. I think pack guns really would have helped win this game uh, for the Germans. I think smoke as well. The smoke barrage was way more effective or could be more effective than the airborne assault, especially due to the fucking, uh, sorry for my swearing, but literally the centaur that shot down, I'm quote, 28 German planes. 28 German planes were killed over the course of this battle. It's just for highlighting. Uh, uh, a parachute squad coming in by Fulschmingers back here would have captured this and GG'd it. So I think Faraday did fine in a straight up fight with a lot of his forces, but I think he needed to bring in more support. I think he needed to be a little more, uh, like, a little more strategic with how he used his units and his special abilities and he would have won that game. But what do you think? Actually, also, 117. Haha. -ha. 117, guys. But in any case, uh, this has been GrayShot17 doing a replay by Messiah. Or sub in by my fan Messiah. Remember, you can submit your replays to GrayShotProductions.gmail.com. And uh, we'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Josh, Malam, Joey G240, Just Thomas Plays, Spartacus, Rifle, Junior Chicklis, Pyroshark, Ollie, Ace, GTA, and Jacob Oswhite. Thank you all for your incredible support. This has been Grayshot17 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see you all next time.